Hi there, my name is Corey McGuire and I'm the Chief Engagement Officer for Dale Carnegie Training of Nevada. One of the things that I've learned since I've been involved with Dale Carnegie is this word called attitude. And you know, we've heard it in the slang where, you know, the person has attitude, she has attitude, he has attitude. But what we really mean when, when we break it down is we have a saying in Dale Carnegie that your eye can or your attitude is far more important than your IQ. So let me explore that a little bit with you. We've discovered in Dale Carnegie that we need to be able to identify those the different types of attitudes that people have by labeling them under some you know labeling system. So what we've chosen to do is we've chosen three types of attitudes. The first one is called the hostage. You might be chuckling a little bit. The second one is a vacationer, and the last one is a leader. Now, how do we come to know these different types of attitudes? Well, it's because one of the things that would happen in the past is that companies would contact us, and they would just take someone and say, you know, you need to go take a Dale Carnegie course. You need to get better in communication skills or, you know, better in how you handle people. And so they would just send them to the classroom. We'd kick off that first session, and we realized that we had three different types of people there. The leaders, the ones that wanted to be there, the hostages that were forced by their organizations to be there, and then the vacationers that in some ways didn't know why they were there, but were disappointed because we weren't serving them dinner. So three different types of, of attitudes. The leaders we love. Leaders, uh, when we're working with organizations or within our own organizations, when we go through a change, leaders say, I may not agree with this change, but you know what? I'm not here to make the decision. I'm here to support it. How can I help? Hostages are digging their heels in. They're going, I can't believe we're changing. Why are we doing things that way? We tried that before. That didn't work. Why would we ever go back and try it now? And so what begins to happen is they begin to spread that word a little bit amongst their peers. The third type of attitude is a vacationer. Vacationers are all about them. So when we roll out a change, if a vacationer is going to gain something from it personally, they're going to be a leader. And if they're not, they're quickly moving over to a hostage. Now, here's one of the interesting things about hostages. They're master recruiters. Yeah, that's right. Because what they do is they go out and they begin to query their colleagues about this specific change that we're rolling out. And how do you feel about it? And how do you like it? And they begin to recruit additional hostages. And so what we figured out back to the classroom is if we didn't condition their attitudes in some way before they came to training. In other words, talk to them about what's in it for them to go through a Dale Carnegie course. We had th those three types of people. Well, let's take that inside your organization and let's specifically look at leadership. You know what? Dale Carnegie believes that leaders can't afford to ever have a bad day. And so if we think about that, and I'll be the first one to raise my hand, I've been a really good hostage in the past at several times in my leadership life, right? Um, and it was really a decision that I made. So let's go through the process. An event occurs, so let's use one that's fairly common. I get a call from a customer that's upset with us. I walk into my office and standing outside the door is one of my most difficult employees. And every time in the past that we've communicated with each other, it hasn't gone well. I immediately start thinking, oh, are we gonna have that same kind of conversation again, really? Right? So what I'm doing, though, is I'm taking on that hostage role, even though it's slight. It's just slight. What we always want to do is we want to make a decision to take the role of a leader regardless. Right? So how do we do that? Well, think about it. It doesn't matter what we think or what we feel. What matters is what we do. That's what people see. So what we have to do is we have to take action and we have to physically look like I'm a leader who's excited to meet with this individual regardless of how it went in the past. Now, you might ask, okay, 
I know sometimes, Corey, I'm a little bit of a hostage. Sometimes I'm a vacationer, but most of the time I'm a leader. So what do I do when I find myself thinking like a hostage? What do I do? Well, I go back to what Dale Carnegie said. When you act a certain way, you'll feel a certain way. Matter of fact, that's true. Feeling follows action. So like I said previously, we take the action of physically, what would a leader look like? Begin in a friendly way. Greet the person as if you're excited to speak with them. And that feeling of being a leader and acting like a leader will follow. What I would encourage you to do is that you need to behave and act like a leader and you will have results of a leader.